Are you starting up VirtualBox and getting this error? I'll show you how to fix that with a couple of commands. So, let's take a look. So, if you have an error message like the one I'm about to show you, you select your virtual machine and then you click on Start, okay? And you get an error message like this, and in the details you get the e-fail and then a result code and the component is called console wrap. Okay, so with this error message what that means is that the hypervisor is set to auto, and we want to turn it off. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll click on OK to the error message and we're just going to open up Notepad right now, and I'll show you the command that we're going to be running. Okay, so this is the command that we're going to be running, and we're going to be running this in the command prompt. So you can just go ahead and go to your start menu, type in CMD, and the command prompt will open here. And what you want to do is run this as an administrator. So right click on it and select run as administrator. Say yes to the prompt, and then we have our command prompt open and we're going to copy this line. Right click and copy on it, select the command prompt, and then we're going to right click in the window. There you go, right click on the window, and it pops up here, and then you just have to hit enter and the operation was completed successfully. So, you can go ahead and close this, and now what you need to do in order for this to update properly is shut everything down. Close out of here and shut down the VirtualBox Manager, and we're going to go ahead and restart our computer. In here, we're back at the desktop. I'm going to now launch my VirtualBox Manager, and we're at the dashboard. I'm going to select the Mac OS 13. This is the one I had an issue with, but it might happen with any virtual machine. So, once you have it selected, go ahead and click on Start, and we'll watch it launch. Okay, there you go. So now, it's loading up without the error message, and that's how you solve the issue. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this was useful, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.